Hi, I'm Logan Medish, and this is High Caliber History. Now, I am at Lewis and Grant Auctions looking at some of the firearms at their upcoming May 2021 Arms and Armor sale. And this is a really cool gun. And it's really cool uh, for a number of reasons. Um, so let me explain why. So I mentioned Lewis and Grant. Well, Jack Lewis is part of the Lewis part of Lewis and Grant. And Jack Lewis has spent more than 50 years in the antique arms business. Uh, and as someone who is second generation in this field, he has seen and sold some of the finest and rarest guns around. So when Jack says that he's seeing an example of something for the first time, that's a big deal. And such is the case with this prototype Model 1859 Cosmopolitan carbine that they have coming up for sale. Jack has never seen one like this before. So obviously, I'd never seen one like this before. Now, Cosmopolitan was established by Edward Gwynn and Abner Carruthers Campbell. And you'll often see their names, Gwynn and Campbell, on the guns from Civil War era production. Um, so some of these carbines are often referred to as Gwynn and Campbell. This gun, however, is only marked to Cosmopolitan in Hamilton, Ohio. Now, keen observers of Gwyn and Campbell guns will notice that this gun doesn't share the same serpentine lines in the trigger guard uh, and in the hammer uh, on this 52 caliber percussion gun. Uh, it's not the same as you would see all, on all of the others. So why isn't it the same? Well, that's because this is a prototype. It's a prototype that has been fitted with an automatic disc priming system in the hammer, which is why it doesn't have that swooping design that you normally see on guns like this uh, in a traditional percussion style hammer. The way the disc priming mechanism works on this gun is that there's this little reservoir on top of the hammer and you unscrew that lid and your disc primers go down into this portion of the hammer and then you screw your lid back on so that the primers are secure in there. When the hammer is cocked, there's a camming mechanism in the hammer on the underside and it is controlling this feed lip that we see on the underside of the hammer that is actuating the disc mechanism to move the next priming disc up and into position for the firing. Uh, the production guns used standard percussion caps and this disc priming system on this Cosmopolitan here, it's the only time that one has ever been seen, um, making it an exceptionally rare addition to someone's collection. Um, and it is going to find a new home in May 2021 at the Lewis and Grant sale. And it's a very, very cool piece uh, to, to be able to say that you have something uh, that Jack Lewis hasn't seen in his half century of arms collecting and dealing is very, very cool. Um, you're, you're never going to find another one like this. Uh, it's an exceptional example of a prototype design of someone trying to fix something that wasn't necessarily broken. Um, and it's one of those you, you don't know unless you try, and they tried and now they know. Uh, just stick to the standard percussion when it comes to this style Cosmopolitan or Gwyn and Campbell uh, carbine. So thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something here. And tune in to the next episode right here on High Caliber History.